Hello, Hitman fans. In this video, we electrocute all three targets. Let's see how it's done. First, we go to the top floor of the apartment building and subdue the Kashmirian. Why? We need the dongle to access his laptop. After reading the files on the Kashmirian's laptop, we find out that Vanya Shah hired the Kashmirian to kill Dawood Rangan. We also find out that the Kashmirian told Rangan about the deal, and in return, Dawood hired the Kashmirian to kill Vanya Shah. We are going to electrocute Vanya Shah and call Dawood Rangan. After Dawood learns of the death of Miss Shah, he will call the Maelstrom and set up a meeting at the barge near the construction site. At the barge, we shall electrocute both of them. The end. He dropped the dongle and the key to his apartment. Take both items. We go to the Kashmirian's apartment. We enter through the front door. We have the key. We go straight to the laptop and read the files. It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here. Hmm, this looks complicated, 47. Vanya Shah initially hired the Kashmirian to kill Darwood Rangan, but the Kashmirian seems to have told his target about her plan. In return, Rangan hired the Kashmirian to kill Shaw as a counter move. Now, with the Kashmirian out of the picture, there are two open contracts available. Maybe you can eliminate one and call the other to see what happens. To electrocute Vanya Shah, we need a battery. We find one here near the place where actor Gregory Arthur likes to vomit. Now we go and infiltrate the train yard. I don't know. I, I need them. Discard the battery. We'll pick it up later. Now we go to the rooftop and release water from the water tanks. You see, there's something wrong with the water heater attached to Vanya Shah's meditation pond. Until the issue is remedied, there is no water coming from the water tanks and the meditation pond is off limits. After we restore the water pressure, the queen's underlings will assume the meditation pond was fixed. Vanya Shah will be informed and she will start using it to meditate. 47 throws the car battery into the pond. Vanya Shah dies electrocuted. Restore the water pressure. Take the pistol and disguise yourself as a bodyguard. Let's attempt to hide the body. Now we go back down, retrieve the car battery and go inside the building. Use Predator Vision to locate the battery. Are you being? We must not be seen throwing the battery into the pond. Go through these doors. Throw the battery into the pond. We shall inform Dawood Rangan of Vanya Shah's death using a payphone. A coin is needed. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. 47, with the contract on Shah now fulfilled, Rangan would probably like to hear about it. I'd be interested in seeing what he does next. Before calling Rangan to tell him Vanya Shah is dead, we're going to prepare. We know Rangan and the Maelstrom will meet on the barge. The barge is ideal for what we intend to do, because on it, puddles are everywhere. We're going to need two car batteries. One battery can be found near the tea stands. This is ridiculous. 
and the scooters turn left. Here it is. Pick it up and let's go to the barge. We're going to leave the battery there and then we'll call Rangan and pick up the second car battery. Throw it somewhere dry. Now we go to a payphone and call Ranga. Speaking. The Queen has been toppled. Oh, I understand. Good. Good. I will need to make some arrangements then. I'll transfer the rest of the money to you as we agreed. I can also handle cash. Maybe a quick exchange? No, no, I cannot risk being seen with you before I... Uh, well, I need to talk to someone first. Regardless, you did your job, and that is that. You'll get your money. Now, if you'll excuse me. Pick up the car battery. We go to the barge. 47, Rangan is making another call. I... That voice. He's talking to the Maelstrom. Hang on. They're meeting up near Rangan's tower. There's a barge near a big crane. This is your chance, 47. The guards that were on the barge disappeared. For the next two minutes, the barge is ours. Throw the battery into that puddle. Perfect. Now drop a coin here. Pick up the other battery and follow me. Hide here. Now we wait. I don't think further explanations are needed. Rangan and the Maelstrom will meet at the barge and they will die electrocuted. There's nothing left for me to say except goodbye. And until next time, just kidding. The Maelstrom will come here from the hideout. For him, we have already prepared an electrified puddle. Rangan will descend from his tower, he will traverse the construction site and he will arrive on the barge. The reason we did not electrify a puddle for him is because he is preceded by a bodyguard. If we throw the battery into the puddle before Rangan arrives, the bodyguard walking in front of him is the one who is going to die. We have to throw the battery into the puddle after Rangan steps in it. Also, the Maelstrom arrives at the meeting spot a couple of seconds earlier than Rangan. Why is that important? Well, if Rangan sees the Maelstrom being electrocuted, he will immediately stop walking and he won't reach the puddle. This is where the coin becomes relevant. We drop the coin in the Maelstrom's path. The Maelstrom comes to the meeting accompanied by two thugs. The thugs see the coin and all three of them stop. One of the thugs picks up the coin and they resume walking. But they stopped for two seconds and now Rangan will reach the puddle before the Maelstrom is electrocuted. While the Maelstrom is dancing in the puddle, we throw the battery at Rangan's feet, making him dance as well. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Yeah, it's a pretty bad accident. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. I have two coins. I shall pay a taxi driver to get the tuck out of here. Now I say goodbye, for real this time, and until our next encounter, don't forget to have fun!